Now we will look at creating new team types, adding teams, and then creating team knockouts. First select the teams button. We are presented with the edit team type dialog. If we click on the drop down, we see that we currently do not have any team types defined for this event. Click on the add team type button and the dialog changes to add team. Enter a descriptive name for the team type, ensure that the correct gender is selected, then click save. We are now taken to the edit team type dialog again, but this time with our new team selected. On the left hand side, is a list box, displaying the category selected for our new team type. Currently this is just two empty slots. Now let's add all the category slots we need for the team type. We want to add five categories for the team type, so we use the arrow keys shown. Next we want to select how many reserves will be permitted, and to set the contest duration. Now we need to allocate each category required to the appropriate slot. Click the Add Category button, select the category from the drop-down list, then select the slot into which the category is to be saved into. Repeat the process for all the team type categories. Next click the Save Team Type button, then click Exit. We will now create some teams, using the newly created team type. Click Teams again. The Edit Team Type dialog appears. Select the Senior Men's Team Type, from the drop-down. We are now ready to add some teams. Select the club for the new team from the drop-down list. Usually, teams will be created using club names. This is not mandatory, and any team names can be used. For the sake of this demonstration, we will create teams by club. Having selected the club, next click Yes in the Set Team Name dialog. The team has now been created. Now select the team from the drop-down list. We are presented with the Team Editor dialog, and now have to allocate a player for each category in the team. By default the system will automatically select players from the selected club, of the appropriate category. However, when a club is missing a player for a category, a scratch player can be used from another club, or a player from a lower category in the same club, may compete in higher categories, or the slot can simply be left empty. Empty team slots will result in a contest forfeit, for each team match. Click the Add Player button. A dialog appears, with a drop-down list of players from the club, who are booked into the category. There are two check boxes. Checking the All Clubs box, will expand the list to include all booked-in players for the category. The next checkbox, Show All Eligible Players, will expand the list to include all players registered in the event, who meet the category criteria. For example, if it is a male category, and the weight limit is under 81 kilos, the list will contain all male players from lower categories, who have not already been allocated a slot in a team. In this way it is quite easy to allocate a scratch player when required. Click Save, and repeat the process for each team slot. Now we have finished creating our team. Click the Save Team icon. Now let's add more teams, using the same process.
For the sake of the demonstration, eight teams have now been created. Let's return to the main menu, and create a knockout. Click the brackets button. The select bracket dialog appears. Click the team's radio button. Then select the team category from the drop-down. Next click the format drop-down. The available knockout templates, suitable for the number of teams in the team type category, will appear. In this case, two elimination methods are presented, double eight teams, which is a double repechage elimination method, or eight teams with no repechage. Typically BJJ events will use the no repechage elimination formats. In the first instance we will select the double repechage method. Click the save button, and then the yes button, in the next dialog. The knockout will now be created. We are presented with a knockout screen. This screen can be used to follow the progress of a knockout as it is being fought in JSCore, and can also be used to amend or edit results. Double clicking on a team contest, will open the team contest editor. In the team contest editor, double clicking on an individual contest, will open the individual contest editor, allowing individual or team results to be amended. Click the close button to return to the main menu. Now let's create an 8-way team knockout with no repechage, which is the preferred BJJ format. Note that it's not possible to have multiple knockouts for the same category or team category. For the purpose of this demonstration the 8-way double knockout has been deleted. Again we click the brackets button, and follow the same process, this time selecting the no repechage elimination format. This time, the knockout is created with no repechage rounds. Once again, double-clicking a team contest, gives us the ability to edit the team contest result, by editing the individual contests. Finally, click the exit button, to return to the main menu. Use the allocate to tatami button, to send team bracket contest to JSCore. And that's it. We have created a new team type, added teams, and created a team knockout. Thanks for watching.